With nearly 3 million subscribers and tens of millions of views on each and every video, it was no surprise that Click was quickly becoming one of the most recognizable groups on the entire of YouTube. Racking up 33 million views in a single month and matching that with nearly 300,000 subscribers, it seemed like they were only going to continue growing so rapidly. But all of a sudden, a complete disappearance says otherwise. With no post in nearly four for years, Click had one of the hardest drop-offs in YouTube history and this video covers exactly what happened. On the 5th of September 2018, the Click Twitter account would post a coming soon leak teasing who would be joining the clan, where every day a new member would release. Starting off with Musalk, followed by Loser Fruit, Cray, Bazagaza, Prestige Clips or Marcus, Lachlan who never actually officially joined, and finally, Laserbeam. However, teasing Laserbeam last solemnly because he's the biggest creator could have been the exact reason as to why Click died off. Two days after, they would announce their official partnership with NRG, who was already a well-established organization by then, so it was clear that they had big plans for the house. In the house tour video, Muzalk exclaims that the house is a whopping five stories tall, as well as it being both the biggest and most expensive in the entirety of Sydney. Welcome to the Click House. I'm going to be showing you the entire house that we all moved into. Now, right off the bat, this place is five stories tall, and that's exactly why we've got an elevator over there, because most of us are incredibly lazy. And, I mean, going up and down five flights of stairs is going to be the hardest thing that we do all day. Amassing four million views on the first video showed Musalk that there was clearly an audience that was ready to watch Click and were excited to see what was to come. With the next few videos gaining 13 million, 10 million and 16 million views, it didn't come to surprise to anyone that after only posting 9 videos, they had ticked over the 1 million subscriber mark. This was a massive accomplishment in itself, but after posting videos such as Two Truths and a Lie Challenge and Click Answers the Web's Most Searched Questions, reaching 2 million subscribers only 6 months after might have been even greater. The group continued to skyrocket in views for the entire year, but out of the blue on October 16th, 2019, Marcus would post, I'm leaving Click. The main reason being is I need to focus on myself and my own stuff. I want to try some new things. Everyone was unsure how this would impact the house, but luckily everything stayed the same, and even Tanner, who was Laserbeam's sister, would end up joining the house too. As March of 2020 rolled around, the group announced two new members, being Fresh and Mully, as well as exaggerating their $20 million new office. But this was at the exact same time that Laserbeam struck a deal with YouTube themselves to stream exclusively on YouTube each week, which meant that he ultimately didn't have as much time to film with the Click crew for real life videos and challenges. Keeping in mind that this was the time that the whole world was in lockdown, which allocated even less time to film videos, and also the fact that there were now two separate places that the Click crew lived at. The Click house containing Loserfruit, Cray and Baza, whilst the Click office housed Laserbeam, Musalk and Fresh. Now, just by stating this out loud, this obviously can't work. The house and the office weren't too far apart, but it was sometimes just too inconvenient or near impossible to get every member to film together at the same time. So instead, Musalk, Fresh and Laserbeam recorded majority of the content and live streams for a while because they had the managers and other workers there too. This made Loserfruit, Cray and Baza appear much less in videos and becoming somewhat quote irrelevant for a little while, to the point where Loserfruit herself commented, We felt on the outs and that's definitely part of the reason the click house ended. It's just the office and the people became more important than we were in the house. Loserfruit also mentioned that it didn't feel the same because the leader of Click, who was Muzalk, didn't move into the house as he was focused too much on the office and making sure everything went right. So she felt like she wasn't even a part of Click at this point. NRG had also separated with Click, so they had to rely on their own income, and with such a big house and bills to pay, it wasn't easy for them, which added another layer of stress to all the members in the office. 
This got to the point where everybody became frustrated and fed up with Muzalk's decision to buy the biggest house in Sydney because their paychecks were going into this office that wasn't even being paid off enough each month. And with Laserbeam's deal to exclusively stream to YouTube each week, this further impacted his ability to record videos. Also taking into consideration the fact that 6 of the 9 most popular videos have Laserbeam as the sole focus, it's easy to figure out that a good chunk of the viewers were all just there to see Laserbeam, and with no Laserbeam in the videos, it resulted in no clicks. Even Cray and Loserfruit confirmed this on an episode of the All In podcast. He took saying. a longer t break off and, and planned it better, but yeah, no, Landon wasn't going to be in the yeah. videos anymore anyway, and he's he's ninety percent of our audience, so you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> However, as the group had pretty much died off after not posting for that full year. Some fans had speculations as to what was actually going on behind the scenes. It was clear that everyone was still friends as they were all hanging out and making content with each other on everybody's separate channels. That is, except for Muzelk. Many fans thought that after Muzelk had poorly directed Click into an inevitable downfall, that his friends from Click stopped liking him as much, and also the fact that Muzelk and his girlfriend Liv had broken up. Liv would then go on to post, Before the love isn't real comments, it's important to note that sometimes the most loving thing you can do for yourself and another person is to let go in order to continue to grow as an individual. And that's what me and Muzalk have come to realise is best for us right now. We remain great friends, but this tweet has since been deleted because of fan comments stating that Liv joined sides with Loserfruit and all her friends, which is why they don't talk to Muzalk anymore, leaving him all by himself. But none of this has been publicly released, so it's anybody's best guess as to what could happen next.